I've got the temperature about it's about 260, 265. I don't want them to get them too too brown. Kind of a, a golden brown is pretty well perfect. Because of the what we do is we reheat them in uh, in a convection oven on the way at, at the job. Normally, if we've got power, otherwise uh, we'll bring them up in the the old roller rack with the door and the uh, and the stern hose. So uh, you don't want to have them too much color, just in case you end up putting a, a bit more color on them. Uh, once you get to the gig and the spinach is already cooked the almonds are already cooked uh, there's nothing raw in there apart from the lobster and um, it's you're using a, a fresh really a fresh product anyway so um, you're not really having to cook it all the way through and for some reason if you are a little concerned believe you me the wasabi is going to kill anything that's in there Okay, well they're just coming up and they're going to take no time at all. I'll give these apricots just a quick stir. Now the apricot coolie, that's something that uh, I've been doing a long time as a different dipping sauce. Um, really, the influence came from North, my North African cuisine days, Algerian, Moroccan. Um, they use a lot of apricots, sultanas, lemons, cumin. Uh, and I just found that the pureed apricots work really well, especially with lamb and lobster. Um, and, but you can do the, all kinds of different different uh, flavors. So you could take the, the apricots, you can put curry powder in them, you can put cardamom in them, you can put cumin in them. Um, so you can really take it wherever you want to go or just do a fruit puree with it and it, and it works really well. Look at those. Oh. One blow up on me. And I'm just using um, regular vegetable oil. Uh, canola. Canola oil to fry. Turn that going off for now. There we go, there's the beignets. Now, as a, something a little different, I talked about the votive candle holders. These guys here, I love to use these for the smaller dinner parties. And here I've got red kidney beans, I've got uh, pinto beans, I've got white beans. I'll just give you an idea of what you can and can't do. You use these for a couple of reasons. One, they're great for doing small appetizer parties. Um, they give you a very unusual presentation. And also, when you're doing a deep fried item like this beignet or this fritter, um, if you do have any extra oil coming off the product, it goes straight onto the beans. So you don't have this ugly oil, oil stain sitting on the um, sitting on the tray after your guest have picked up one of the appetizers. This is why my wife hates going shopping with me because I always end up buying something she thinks she's going to get a centerpiece and I throw food on it. All right, then beignets on the top. Your server can offer your votive candle holder full of beignets, napkins, and dipping sauce in the right hand. Coolie time! My, one of my favorite kitchen toys. So, just to show you that I actually do use some things for what they're supposed to be used for. My IKEA pot holder that I serve my tacos on. Um, here's now our, uh, our apricots, boiled, Usually we'll, we'll put a big pot of these on, you know, first thing in the morning, boil them and then stick them on the back of the stove and let them, let them soften, let them do their thing. 
So I'm, oh, excuse me, we're squeaking a little bit here. Um, all I'm going to do is simply hand wand in. I'll stop talking because you can't hear me over this. And voila, one apricot coolie. Now, as it cools down, it will slightly thicken up. Um, not, it won't thicken up too much, but uh, just slightly. So, you can have your waiters hold the sauce and the napkins while they're walking around with the votif. Or, if you use these little cups, you can put them right in the middle of the votif holders. And then guests can dip and enjoy. There you go. Lobster almond spinach beignets and apricot coulis.